So our next guest uh, argues that uh, clear rules and regulation would be the best way to protect investors. Joining us now, Emily Parker, CoinDesk Executive Director uh, of Global Content. We, you know, it's, it's like a, um, I don't know, a, to a Tolstoy novel. Where are we right now? Uh, wh what's taking so long? Who do you want to, who do you expect to take the reins eventually, Emily, to, uh, to get some decent regulation in, uh, in this area? area? Well, I think part of the problem is that it's a little bit unclear who's exactly in charge here. So there's been a lot of recent movements by the SEC. It seems like every day there's news of a new SEC crackdown on crypto. But the problem is, is that the U.S. doesn't really have like one federal regulator for crypto exchanges. There's various regulators. And, you know, a lot of this is done on the state by state basis. So the problem with the U.S. isn't so much that regulation is too strict. It's that regulation is too confusing. And what we're having right now is basically we're seeing all these sort of like ad hoc regulation by enforcement actions from the SEC, which is just sending confusion through the industry and threatens to send crypto businesses overseas. Who do you expect eventually to, to, uh, to be, you know, watching what's happening here? Do you think Congress is eventually going to do it? The CFTC, the, the SEC, what's the best outcome for the industry? Well, I think it seems like Congress is probably going to have to play a role here just in establishing sort of who regulates what. I don't think this is something that the SEC can do on their own. And clearly, we are seeing a lot of talk already in Congress about crypto, but most of it is just sort of reacting, and it's kind of negative, and it's like, you know, we need to do something, but it's unclear what exactly is going to be done. But yeah, there's some basic things that could happen out of Washington. You know, there's been talk, for example, about rules about stable coins. People have been talking about this for a while, but the U.S. still doesn't really have, like, a clear roadmap for that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to Congress is going to have to play a stronger role just kind of in establishing sort of just some rules of the road for crypto, which we don't really have right now. How important would it be to have a, a spot ETF for something like Bitcoin? Is, it, is that ever going to happen? What's the timeline for that at this point? And what, what's the what needs to be done for that to actually happen? What would Chair Gensler need, do you think? Well, I mean, you know, it's hard to say, but right now the sentiment um, about crypto is so negative in Washington that I don't see that happening in the immediate future. You know, a lot of the spot ETF, I mean, crypto advocates have been advocating for this for a while, saying like this is a safer way to sort of like regulate crypto and Bitcoin. But you, you're not, uh, given the sentiment in Washington and giving sort of the fear and this feeling that crypto is something dangerous and something, you know, to protect Americans from, it doesn't seem like the prospects for that are great at the current time. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's an argument to be made that that's a way to get crypto within more of a regular regulatory framework and to make a safer way for American investors to invest in trading crypto. So, but I don't, I don't see that happening immediately. Did uh, did the uh, groundhog see his shadow? Is winter over? You know, there's six more weeks of winter, six more months of winter. Are we in the spring? Where do you think we are? Is there will there be new lows, for example, uh, intermediate term lows in Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and, and others? Well, you know, one thing I will say about crypto, it has the endless capacity to surprise. So, you know, anyone who says they can predict what's happening in crypto is just making it up. And, you know, right now we're in the midst of sort of the silver great crisis, the banking crisis, right? And so, you know, there's a, a loss of trust in crypto banks. That's obviously not good. Um, but one thing I will say is that if you look over, you know, the past few weeks um, and you look at some of the regulatory actions in the United States, see some of the stuff the SEC is doing, there were moments where you, you felt like, again, there was this sort of regulatory action happening. Happening, you know, almost every day, but it wasn't really affecting Bitcoin's price. And I think that's an important lesson here that, you know, whatever the U.S. does, cryptocurrency is very much a global phenomenon. So even if the SEC were to continue cracking down on cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency exchanges, like crypto can still live outside of the U.S. And that's what we're seeing. So I don't see it ending anytime soon. And I don't see the momentum completely dying anytime soon. But I wouldn't um, I wouldn't say that we won't see some short-term negative surprises in the near future because there has been a contagion effect. And like I said, these sort of companies and these projects imploding, they tend to come sometimes seems to come out of nowhere. And we could see that happening again in the near future.